after a few months of retracting into the turtle shell of parenting a newborn, you may finally feel ready to poke your head out just a bit and see what kind of cute things can be made while living in the relentless routine of caring for a baby. Speaking of poking your head out, this video is sponsored by Aveda and their Invati Advanced Hair Care line. I will share more in the video when I hopefully manage to squeeze in a shower. Hello. How are you doing? It's been a while. Last time I was on here, I had another life attached to my stomach, and now she's over there, sleeping. The uh, foliage has grown. I've decided her sleeping time is the best time that I'm going to try to DIY some things that I've been meaning to make. I'm going to have to pin this out of the way, I guess. When it comes to DIY, you know, you make stuff because it's cute, or you make it because it's practical. Are those the two main reasons we DIY? Winter is coming and I've been meaning to make these adorable little knit bonnets. If you've experienced real cold, you know. You need like the full head wrap warmth. And just with like the scallops and the brims and the ties, how can you not? There's some pretty cute patterns I noticed online, but a lot of them deal with if you're making a bonnet out of weave material, which is stiff, I want to use knit. So there's a little bit of give there. Very much about clothing that can at least flex a little as they like shoot out of the thing with their limbs. I think I have to start by measuring Marla's head size. This to me is a pretty standard layout for a knit bonnet, which basically if you looked from above would be like a symmetrical T shape. I drew one half of that T. This becomes the side. You join this part together and it makes the back. How is her head so small? This is kind of like half of what circles the face minus maybe like 10 centimeters because it's nice to have some flexibility on how far apart the ties can be as the size adjusts. I'm gonna cut this out of this white knit fabric. I cut it out. At the T, just putting these edges right sides together. It kind of gives you a bit of a box corner, so I might curve at the end to soften this box. Good news, Marla can sleep through a sewing machine. With Marla, I've been doing a thing called E-A-S-Y, easy. If you're unfamiliar with easy, it is just eat, activity, sleep, you time or your time. And in Marla's case, she loves easy and I like easy because there's a designated period of time that's just for me. So she ate, now she's having activity time. After that, she'll go to sleep and I can have my own time. I'll put a link in the description if you want to read the book where I got this whole kind of routine. They emphasize that it's not a schedule because the cycle length of the routine can change as well. It's just not realistic to ever expect that a baby will strictly adhere to a given routine. You kind of have to be, you have to roll with the punches. There you go. <laughs> Sherbet, where are you going? To find my friends. And that's her routine. This is when I would try to squeeze in a shower. My pregnancy hormones have definitely finished running their course. I mean, the obvious sign being that I gave birth, but another very common outcome that I'm experiencing is postpartum hair loss. Normal, for a period of time, goes away. But in the meanwhile, 
I've been just trying to put a little extra love into my hair care routine. I am so happy to say this video is sponsored by Aveda and their Envati Advanced Hair Care line. Back when my hair was bleached, if some of you remember, and I switched around with a lot of different colors, Aveda had my go-to products to care for my hair, and now their Envati Advanced line is a collection of high-performance hair products that'll make your hair look thick and full. They are all vegan, cruelty-free, and over 94% naturally derived. It's a difficult choice, but I'm just highlighting two of the products in the entire line. One is the Invati Advanced Intensive Hair and Scalp Mask and the Invati Advanced Thickening Foam. This one gives instant results, so even if you don't have time for the mask, highly recommend. The Intensive Hair and Scalp Mask, I've just applied it to my scalp. It only needs to sit there for two to five minutes, so I don't really have to plan around it, which I appreciate. It smells so good. That is one of my favorite things across the board of all Aveda products is they don't use any synthetic fragrances and everything has such a rich and complex scent. This mask uses a combination of plant oils and plant-based polymers to hydrate, nourish, strengthen your hair. I guess it's been two minutes since I started talking about this, so. Time to rinse it out. Although this is also feel like some kind of look. Last step after showering, I'll apply the Invati Advanced Thickening Foam to my roots. I can see the difference even when I just apply the thickening foam and let my hair air dry, but to show off its full effect, let's blow it dry today. All right, I finished straightening my hair and then I had to go get Marla, but ta-da! Full of volume, so bouncy, smells nice. This is no extra product, just the mask, then the thickening foam, blow dry and straightened it because otherwise my bangs are. <laughs> the entire Aveda and Vati advanced line is great if you have fine or thin hair or if like me, you're just looking for a little extra nourishment for thicker and fuller looking hair. Check the link in the description to see the entire line and give it a try. You ready for some food now? This is Marla's little sleep sack and it makes her look like a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Looks like this was fitting so far, so I'm gonna take this back edge that goes along the back of the head, flip it up two times, and just sew it shut with a, a zigzag knit stitch. Okay, the back here got a little bit floppy. I don't like that. I think I'm going to try to add an elastic just along that center back. It'll just fit right here, and I think, if anything, it'll actually help this bonnet stay on while also providing a nice and snug warm fit. I think the tricky thing with baby's clothes is they all should have nice and finished seams on the inside just because babies are very sensitive to their comfort level or can be sensitive whereas as adults you know if there's like a little thread bugging us we might be able to put up with it and also I want to be sensitive about like safety of wearing because I'm making something that will be tied around the head. I'll get to that in a moment. I'm gonna cut a strip of fabric that's going to form the front of this bonnet. It's going to seal off the raw edge as well as form two tails so they can be all tied up. Okay, I've done some more research and I've decided we're just gonna do snaps instead of ties. Actually, well, okay, you could do a tie if you get one of those release toggles that just like come apart the moment you add pressure. I don't have one of those and I really, really wanna get this done. So I've cut a strip that leaves five centimeters extra on both ends of the bonnet and on that little strip, I'm gonna add little snaps to hold it closed. First, sewing the right side of the strip to the inside of the bonnet. Needle at the three quarter position, so one quarter, halfway, three quarters, straight stitch. I gave the raw edge a trim so there's not too much fabric bunched up inside. And then we take this strap, flip it over to the other side, fold it in once. Oh my gosh, such tiny work. Fold it in over again, and then do a straight stitch so that it looks good from the outside and all the raw edges are tucked away. Oh my god. All right, I'm just trying to get your sizing right. Okay. I had a vision to add pom-poms to this bonnet, so I tried to cut up some fringe and, I don't know, after many iterations, this is where I'm at and I'm not like crazy about it.
Ideally, I'd love to use white yarn, don't have that at home right now, and I'm at the point where I just really, really want to finish this bonnet so I can take what I've learned here and just start making more other bonnets. Um, it doesn't look that bad on camera. My quick and easy backup plan is also literal pre-made pom-poms. Okay, and I'm gonna add two snaps for one snap, two snaps. You could probably get away with one snap. Make your life a little easier. If you've tried to finagle one of these onto a little infant, you know, you ought to be quick about it. So the fringe I tied up with a piece of yarn and then the loose ends of the yarn, I pulled it through tiny little holes cut into the bonnet. Now I'm just gonna add some sewing to like really secure them in place. The goal is so that this could like survive going through the washing machine. Okay, I've got it on there. Are you ready? Na 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 na! <laughs> I'm so happy with how it turned out. So it adequately covers her ears. She did whine a little as I tried to do up the one snap under her chin. The back ended up being a tiny bit bulkier or like riding way higher as well. Probably adjust that for the next pattern. But it's completing its goal, keeping her ears warm, looking cute. Opportunities are endless. You could add like bear ears, bunny ears, add like a big brim so it has a more, I don't know, nautical vibe. Also I saw some bonnets that had a little pointy tip in the back, like a little bit of like a elvish or smurfy touch. Honestly, I feel like I've been working on this for two weeks and I cannot believe something so small took me so long. This was a good reality check. We did it. We did it. Ooh. Yes. Go to sleep, my little Joni. Have a sweet dream tonight. There'll be lots and lots for us to do tomorrow But for now, just lay your head down, close your eyes And I'll be right here by your side So let your troubles pass you by Just know you're love no matter what And every Everything will be alright. The world is Joni's lullaby. Good night. Bless you. Bless you.